god. Okay, this is the collection. Hello, everyone. It is I. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that. It's spooky month. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's the spooky month. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up chat. God, wait, Newfie's in our stream. Hi, Newfie. Newfie, he's here. Hi, Newfie. I would talk to you. Yeah, you can, and I don't think you're picking up that well, anyways. Streaming with the Casper man, with the ghost man. Uh, you're a little muffled. Uh, you're muffled now, like phone. Okay, so, real quickly, Nufi, do you know anything about the Amnesia Collection? No? Okay, so you don't know which game we start off with? Well, I, I would assume it's the Dark Descent and then Justine and then a Machine for Pigs. I'd assume it's left to right. start this because I want to get into the game so I can go into the options and turn down the game volume because it feels a little too loud. <laughs> yeah, I did.
Alright. But yeah, can you see the stream good enough? You ready to start it then? Alright. Start with the dark descent, I guess. I don't care. <laughs> I don't even- It's very loud for me. Okay. Good, then you're gonna hear me scream and you're gonna be like, what? What's wrong? Ah! <laughs> you're just gonna hear delayed screaming. <laughs> and Newfie stopped turning into a robot. Oh, the Newfie's a robot. But also, if you can see my stream right now, I don't think I want to go inside wherever that is. <laughs> I cannot, and it's still bullet works. Oh, I see the bullet works. Okay, now I. Oh, there's a hole. <laughs> it doesn't look like a very appealing hole. That, that looks like an anus. <laughs> it does! That looks like a butt hole. <laughs> Well, let's go into the butthole, I guess. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go get myself something to drink. I can still hear you, though. Yeah. Welcome to Amnesia, the Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. Oh, great. <laughs> Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. How about I shit myself? instead <laughs> do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay the game will take care of that for you the game knows all <laughs> the game knows all when you want to leave the game just choose save and quit you can then use continue to return to where you left off next time you start up the game the world of Amnesia is a dangerous place, and you are extremely vulnerable! <laughs> Great! Can we? No. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits, hide, or even run if necessary. What am I getting into?! <laughs> I'm not good at games where I have to hide. <laughs> we might be here a while. Oh no. Yeah. What? I'm no! Stop! We're playing a horror game! <laughs> no! <laughs> We're playing a horror game. We're playing a horror game and we're going into a butthole, okay? <laughs> I'm drinking alcoholic coffee. No! It'll keep me awake. There's not that much alcohol in here. It's 10%. Oh, okay. 5% alcohol. The interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this, it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider yeah. control below to do so. Adjust it until the square at the right is barely visible. Oh. Okay, barely visible. It's barely. Excuse you. Get your nose out of my coffee. Right here, it's barely, it's barely visible for me at least. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going into. I'm scared. <laughs> that is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of amnesia. I hope I can give myself amnesia <laughs> after this experience. <laughs> uh, your cat's gonna get jump scared. <laughs> your cat's gonna get murdered by the world of amnesia. Ooh, options, options. Uh, 
enemy. Down to three. I have not. Yeah, we're turning the master okay. down to three. What's this commentary mean? Why can you check that on and off? What is commentary? Show hints is on though, so that's what hints. That's hints. Uh, I guess we'll leave it alone for now. Let's start a new game, I guess. Hard mode. Okay, normal. The the way the game was designed to be made. Hard mode. Enemies will spot you more easily. Tinder boxes and oil are harder to come by. What? Are you okay? Boxes. Losing your sanity will kill you. What? There's a sanity thing? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna do normal mode and I'm gonna cry. This was a bad idea. Can we go back and not do this? Can we not do this? I'm not. <laughs> Please be nice. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. Mayfair. This is so weird. This is crazy. Where, what am I doing? I must stop him. Focus. My ah. name is, is. I am Daniel. What? Where? Oh, I'm already getting shivers. I didn't like that. <laughs> sure. Also, I'm waking up. I can jump, I can crouch, I can grab things. Memento, press Y to check it whenever you get stuck. No notes, no diaries, mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. The liquid trail of blood? No thank you. What is this? Yeah. I don't know. One of those is the gender fluid flag. Well, I can look at stuff and I can throw things. Why can I throw things? Yes. So Nubia's a lesbian, apparently. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I don't like the fact that I can hear, like, mild growling. And I'm going back to... Oh god, oh god, oh god, why are we laying down on the ground? Why are we sniffing? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Why are we freaking out? I'm hiding in the closet because, oh my god. Oh, you're hiding in the closet? That's not a surprise. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, I have a tinderbox. I hid because my character started freaking out. I know there's monsters in this game, I just don't know when they show up. What is happening? Why are we on the ground? Why are we crawling? What was that? Why do we keep falling to the ground and freaking out? Why did that door open on its own? <laughs> or it's a monster. I did it. I did it. It was me. <laughs> Casper. My name is Casper after all. I'm not even gonna explore secrets because I don't even want to know what the secrets are. No secrets, no, no secrets. Secret, secrets. I'm too scared. You don't want to know the secret, secret, secrets? No, I'm scared. Oh, there's a <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't play horror games. I'm doing this because you like horror games. <laughs> He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. What? <laughs> These looting screens are terrifying. Oh, we have lights. That's nice. There's books on the floor that I can just... Unsettling... Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Okay. How do I turn on a light again? Where do you check your 
I don't even know that. Health, all was good. Sanity, a slight headache. How do I use to ignite light sources? Oh, light sources! Where can I find a light source then? No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Nothing can break me now. What is my sanity at? A slight headache? It's gonna stay at a slight headache because we're perfectly fine. Uh-oh. How do I open this door? Uh-oh. Well, that's where I have to go. Well, I only have two tender boxes. I don't wanna... I have a light. You cannot hurt me if I have a pretty, pretty light. It's what I'm going to believe. news. I don't know where to find a key for the door. Oh! Wait. That's a tinderbox. Useless to me as I had a light of pretty. Oh. Oh. Uh. Where did my light go? and Rafa blood stains. <laughs> Oh my god, you can see yourself slowly losing sanity. Okay, huh. note to self, stand in the light when you can. Ooh. Yep, yep, no, no. There were roaches all over the floor. I'm fine though. 
Uh, how is my heart doing? Health is good. Heart, heart, head is pounding and hands are shaking. That's not good. Well, I found more tinder boxes. That's good. What is in this box? Slight headache. Okay, sanity is back to a slight headache. I'm gonna be honest, I might be stuck. It it's a little early into the game to be stuck, me, but you know. can break things it it it's it's done nothing for me i can parkour slightly parkour Can I burn? Alright. Okay, wait, let me look at this door again. Why can't I open it? <gasps> I'm stupid! It does open! It's not a push door! It's a pull! <laughs> oh god, why is the room shaking? The room's not shaking anymore. Why did I just hear evil laughter in the background? Ooh, fire. Can I use this broom as a weapon? Hi, yeah.
I could theoretically use that for a bit of a weapon. Oh my god, I made it stand up perfectly straight. I'm a genius. Oh great. I can't turn my head anymore. Oh wait, I can. It it only wants me to look at this desk though. Ooh, oil for my lamp. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. His body is old and weak. Yours, young and strong. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. Great! I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Hey, Casper, are you the shadow following me that's gonna end up killing me? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. <gasps> to run! Why would I need to run? Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, God, I can already tell something here is gonna chase me. Hello? Hello? Uh, uh, uh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Why do I hear footsteps? That was terrifying. My sanity is crystal clear, apparently. <laughs> I wish. Oh! Huh! The walls are, appear to be made out of flesh. It's tough 
weapon intelligent. It can't be torn by hands or tools. Um, the, the wall seems to be made out of a substance that it should not be made out of. <laughs> ah! Well? Looks like we're not going down that way. Is our objective upstairs? What? Freaking out because now I'm hearing noises. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't like that my sanity is crystal clear right now, and I just heard someone scream. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the archives. You know what? I'm ready. A fragrant taste of the rose lingers in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. <laughs> I'm freaking out and you're having the time of your life. Yeah. Are you enjoying my fear? Oh, this is actually a nice area. I'm gonna be honest, I'm mainly watching my cat be stupid. That's fair. Um Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The pinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right. But I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Does that mean we're underground? Okay, what's through this door? I can't wait for Freddy Fazbear to walk through the door like hor 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 hor. <laughs> That's not that type of game. <laughs> it could be. Six. 
17th of May, 1839. Really? My hand trembles, I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I like that this is a lore section and nothing scary is happening. I just heard the piano start, so I turned on my lantern. Oh, is this more oil? I swear I hear something walking around that is not me. I don't like it. This was the piano I heard playing earlier. Oh! Uh -oh. The strain is... okay. Why is this room so big? Big. blood on those rocks. Mm -hmm. Why is that chair so comically large? <laughs> I 
I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's a, it's, like, that's like a giant chair, like a giant table. Either that or you're just tiny. <laughs> well, I'm crouched down. This is my size. Oh. I'm just crouched. I really hope there's nothing in here with me. Like, this is already terrifying enough. <laughs> just happened. Okay, no, my sanity's just going down. And I need my lantern out, that's all. There's nothing in here with me. As far as you know. I'm just gonna set these lanterns off. Grab some more tinder boxes. Yeah, I think my sanity was just going down. Too much wandering around in the dark. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Hey, 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 we're, 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 we're uh, uh, 17th May, 1839. <laughs> After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. Um. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, okay. I, I guess we're doing this. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Ooh, disco ball. I reached out, clutching it in my hands. The fatal <laughs> glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and Spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Next, slight headache. Okay, Sandy's back to a slight headache. Why are we so dizzy in this room? Kingdom of Prussia, Central Prussia. Huh. I think our sanity is good to walk out now. Ah! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble. There's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Well, is our sanity st a slight headache? Is that what we're calling this? Okay. <laughs> now my other cat is on top of the box that my other cat is in. Uh. Wait. I just came from here. Why is- why am I blocked in? 
Uh. Uh oh. What? I don't know what's going on. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Then I need something I can pick up. How about paper? Will paper break the wall? You're right. How about a book? I don't remember the controls. Hold on. I need to look at the controls. Throw is apparently. Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah, no. Book ain't gonna work. Uh, there's chairs down the hall. That I can pick up. So I'm gonna pick up a chair and chuck it at the wall. Throw yourself at it. <laughs> I just run and just. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, yeah. <laughs> you'll have to start over. You can get flashed, Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dando. I don't know. We're just on the first thing of it. Okay, our sanity's good. We have a light source right here that we can put back on. Whoa, books. Like, I'll, I'll light this light as well so we don't waste too much oil. Uh, oh. Alt Stat and Brenberg Castle, 1801. Another region wi rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the west, the east of Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as pic picture. Okay, as one can be. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Albeit the area is haunted by <laughs> the dark. Ask any local and you'll hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' of War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies brought. I just found the cutest little place in my apartment. <laughs> Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. <laughs> Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from the, any beholder. 
They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which revealed their presence. What dark schemes do they follow? So are these, like... These are all kind of horror stories, in a sense. Or kind of ghost stories, or... Cryptid stories? Just strange... Folklore! This is all local folklore. <laughs> it says it's on the very top. Do you want me to read the last two? Or... Alright, I'll, I'll read the last two. A Vin Undone. Henrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Aldstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight. FORTNIGHT?! <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite, as he looked for remnants of of kingdoms past. <laughs> During his stay, all the prominent members of society. <laughs> paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern. Blades, only to never be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some year, ten years later. He dismissed Grenoble. <gasps> he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Finally, the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle among the great leaders of this country. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump out of this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see something terrifying. Where is it? Huh. I'm safe. Yeah. Oh my god, there's more oil here. I think I've been doing a good job with my light. It won't open, it's locked. Okay, so am I trapped in here now is the question. Because I can't go through that door anymore.
Wait. A draft and a faint light comes from behind the shelf. There has to be a way in. Oh, jeez. That one. Pull it out. I hear something. Ow! Did it. Yeah. I solved the puzzle. There's a key! Wine cellar key. What? What is it? I progressed. That means my sanity is supposed to go down. Ooh, no. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed some. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Jesus. Okay. Gatorade. Gatorade solves all of my issues. Why is the music going weird? Why is the music getting funky? I have my lamp on. It, it, I heard a growl, like a rah, and now the music's getting all funky, and I don't know what it means. The growl could have been me burping. No, it was in the game. Get Okay, we're okay. Yeah. Are we okay? No, no, we're not. We never will be. 
I keep hearing a growl. I think I need to go back. It was done, the men said. The tomb has been revealed. Ten hen and awaits, granting the toothless four men. Whoa! Okay, no, no, no. Head is pounding. That this isn't real. I don't like that we get hurt off of it. Okay, come on, I have the lamp out. I have the lamp out. Your sanity is supposed to go up. Going into the laboratory now because you know we not. I don't A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. Braced himself. Stop, stop, we have light. We have light. We're going back to the light. Why are you still seeing? We have light, we have light, we have light. Calm. Why aren't we calming down anymore? also said that the light helps with sanity as well. Oh, I thought it just said that the light helps you, like, it helps keep you from losing sanity. It increases it back to normal, and that's what it's been doing. I don't know if you've noticed, but whenever the light's on, it, like, increases our sanity from head is pounding and hands are shaking to headache, slight headache. But it hasn't been doing that anymore. Everything's shaking, but you you know, 
Let's just continue. Okay, we're back to a slight headache. Ooh. My third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former components lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpinent are a given, and the cuprite coop binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in hopes it'll produce an even a more even sub solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and acidic and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. <gasps> Ooh, we can use it against the really realistic uh Stuff that hurts us. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an al alchemic solution to my predicament. I know where we can proceed now. Remember the area that was like a wall of flesh? We can go there now. Oh great, my sanity is back to Yep. I shouldn't have looked down there. Oh, and there's another note. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay, so we have stuff in the wine cellar. Is that enough? No, that wasn't enough progression for you? Great. Well, I wonder what the next steps down from that is. I don't think I want to find out, but I'm wondering. Stone slab looks like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. Okay, what is down here? Is this still a wine cellar, actually? Because if this is... It is. Sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently swept his face. Yep. 
Yep, this is pure darkness. We can't be down here for long. Okay, understood. We're okay, we're okay. Oh, well, no we're not. We got nuked again. Where did the Baron go? Who cares, man? He left us wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> oh. That door just closed on me. I'm not even standing in pure darkness. No! Excuse me! Game! That was rude. Stop. Light it, light it. Oh, we can't light it. Okay. Why? What do you mean no tinder boxes left? Uh oh. No tinder boxes left. Slight headache. Okay, that was progression apparently. Oh wow, dead body parts, amazing. I have no tinder boxes left. What's happening? Oh, feel I, my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, still have to do something. Except it. we're not getting out of here. How can you say that, Alexander? You. Yeah, we are running out of oil, and this is bad. I've been trying to be spared sparse with it, but it's been kind of hard. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gerich. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg, as most of the atrocities uh, arist aristocracy. I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of this contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors that I have been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggle with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the number, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. 
I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without re restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us all up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn! Okay! Well, now we know what the substance we've been given does. Let's test it on our own skin! <laughs> So bad news, I think I'm about to be um, lost in darkness in a moment. Oh yep, there's no way in here. Oh, we're back to a slight headache, which is good. Uh-oh. Yep. I think there's one more thing that I needed. Uh. Wait, if an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in the darkness. What does that mean? Sanity is all the way down to zero. This wasn't worth it. I can't go into the light. There's something there. I, I can't go into the light right now. Unless... That's a healing tonic. That's some kind of healing tonic. I could theoretically run past the enemy... And try to get to a light source. Because I'm starting to think that the only reason why the enemy exists is because we've gone insane. Oh, this is gonna scare the crap out of me. Okay, let's do it. I can't run. I can't run. I actually... We're, we're dead. I can't.
Why is your sanity going back? You're in white on the window. Maybe. I'm going to stay near this light for now, but I think I have everything I need. And I'm going to have to run back up the stairs. Health is a few cuts and bruises. That's fine. I'm going to run up the stairs. That was terrifying. Why was that so bad? <laughs> okay, I know the next place we have to go. Yeah, right here. Okay, how do you mix the chemicals?
get four different chemicals are needed to continue. I was missing something. Wait, was I? I was missing one. The thing is, I can't go back to Elder. Without a proper light source. My lights went off. Oh wait, I can't get back up. Or can I? Okay, sanity is a slight headache, so I think I can risk it. I'm gonna run. To the other side of the room over here. What is over here? Substance has been in here all along. Wait. That's a tender box. That works. That's lamp oil. More tender boxes. Wait. <gasps> One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only cr crave fair judgment and a safe return. That's not a thing I can grab, that's just a random weird memory. Okay, thanks game. Now I have a light down here that'll help me. So I really can't park for this. No. Maybe 
think that might just be on your end, though, because your internet's bad. Seriously, don't know where I have to go. that wasn't I'm finding new things, but other than that, like, there's nothing here. Like, again, I'm finding new things every now and then, but that's it. Maybe I should just call it a night. You said we haven't even been streaming that long, or? Long enough then? Yeah. Yeah, and I can't even figure out what to do. Yeah. I was just about to straight up take off my headset. Alright. 
Bye guys, end of stream. I might continue playing this game. It's a very interesting game, I'll give it that. And I'm very curious in it. And I'm especially curious if the folklore is, like, real folklore, or if it's just something the game made up. But... I'll see you guys maybe in the next playthrough if I do another one. Bye!